this is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at trends in melting point in the periodic table. Here we have a graph of the melting points of the first 18 elements in the periodic table. We'll start by looking at the trend in melting point for the elements in period 2. So that's lithium with atomic number 3 up to neon with atomic number 10. So as we go from left to right across period 2, we see an increase in melting point as we go from lithium to beryllium to boron to carbon. We then see a big decrease in melting point as we go to nitrogen and then oxygen, fluorine and neon. Next we look at the trend in melting point across period 3, starting with atomic number 11 which is sodium to atomic number 18 which is argon. So once again we see an increase in melting point as we go from sodium to magnesium. Magnesium and aluminium have similar melting points and then we see an increasing melting point as we go to silicon. Next we see a decrease in melting point as we go to phosphorus and then sulfur, chlorine and argon. Next we look at the type of structure and bonding for each element. Lithium and beryllium both have metallic bonding. Carbon has a giant covalent structure. And the remaining elements, that's nitrogen, oxygen and fluorine, have molecular covalent structures. Next, for period 3, sodium, magnesium and aluminium all have metallic bonding. Silicon has a giant covalent structure. And the remaining elements, that's phosphorus, sulfur and chlorine, have molecular covalent structures. The elements in group 18, that's the noble gases neon and argon, exist as individual atoms. The melting point of a substance depends on the type of bonding, that's covalent, ionic or metallic, and the structure, that's ionic lattice, molecular covalent, giant covalent or metallic. The melting point increases for metals in periods 2 and 3 as the strength of the metallic bond increases. Across periods 2 and 3 the melting point reaches a peak at carbon and silicon which have giant covalent structures. The melting point then decreases for elements that have molecular covalent structures. The different types of structure and bonding will be covered in topic 4.